Ukrainian forces returned to their positions north of Kharkiv, the Ukrainian armed forces counterattacked in the Globoko area. This was reported by the American Analytical Center Institute for the Study of War. According to the Institute, on June 13, the Ukrainian armed forces regained control over positions north of Kharkov, despite the continuation of Russian offensive actions in this area. Geolocated footage released on June 13 shows Ukrainian forces conducting a counterattack and recapturing positions southeast of the village of Gliboko. Russian military bloggers confirmed counterattacks by Ukrainian forces in the area, noting that it was making matters worse for Russian troops. In addition, Russian sources reported counterattacks by the defense forces in and around Volchensk, although they claim that Russian forces advanced 1.8 kilometers along a 4.5 kilometers wide front north of Volchensk. It is also reported that the Russian armed forces have introduced reserves into the northern part of the Kharkov region, although their volume remains unknown. A Russian source said that units of the 155th Marine Brigade are operating near Volchensk, although they were fighting in the Marinka area in early June. This may indicate a redeployment of units from Donetsk to Kharkov to strengthen Russian troops in this region. In the Kupiansky direction, clashes occurred in the areas of Sinkovka, Petropavlovka, Peskany, Stelmakovka, Myasozorovka, Berestov, Druzhelubovka, Nevsky, Grakovka and Serebryansky forestry. Russia employed deliberate starvation tactics in Mariupol and killed many civilians in this way. Russia used deliberate starvation tactics during the seizure of Mariupol in February 2022. Lawyers say that the strategy of depriving the city's residents of food during the blockade can be equated to a war crime, according to The Guardian. According to a new analysis submitted to the International Criminal Court, Russia used a deliberate pattern of starvation tactics during the 85-day siege of the Ukrainian city of Mariupol in early 2022, which amounted to a war crime. The opinion is the basis of a dossier that is currently being submitted to the International Criminal Court in The Hague by global rights compliance lawyers working with the Ukrainian government. It alleges that Russia and its leaders intended to kill and harm a large number of civilians. It is estimated that Russia killed 22,000 people during the encirclement and capture of the city of Mariupol at the beginning of the war in Ukraine. Civilians were left without water, gas and electricity for days after the siege as temperatures dropped below minus 10 degrees Celsius. Katriona Murdoch, partner at Global Rights Compliance, said the purpose of the study was to see if there was a broader narrative that the Russian military and its leadership are deliberately denying food and other necessities of life, a strategy of starvation that could be called a war crime. What we could see is that there were four phases to the Russian assault, starting with attacks on civilian infrastructure, cutting out the supply of electricity, heating and water. Then humanitarian evacuations were denied and even attacked, while aid was prevented from getting through, Murdoch says. In the third stage, she says, Russia targeted critical infrastructure, Ukrainian civilians were terrorized with aid and water points were bombed. Finally, in phase four, Russia engaged in strategic attacks to destroy or capture any remaining infrastructure items, she added. The phased attack on Mariupol, she says, demonstrated that Russia planned to capture the frontline city without mercy for its civilian population, which was estimated at 450,000 before Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began on February the 24th, 2022. The dossier concludes that Russia destroyed about 90% of the medical facilities and buildings in the city during the siege and bombed food distribution points and humanitarian evacuation routes. Given the importance of Mariupol and the centralization of Russian decision-making, the blame for the deaths of thousands of civilians lies at the very top, the report says. Vladimir Putin is culpable? 
Murdoch said, and echelons of the Russian military leadership, Murdoch says. Russian troops occupied Mariupol at the beginning of a large-scale invasion of Ukraine in late February 2022. In May 2022, it was reported that the Russian occupiers had killed 25,000 in Mariupol. Large-scale burial sites were found in the city.